Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to The Road Warrior. It's funny, you know, last week we were talking about game show hosts. And the one thing about my audience, I mean, you can go look at all the, the, the episodes, you can look where I post on Facebook or on YouTube, and I don't really get many, if any, comments. But I'll get a lot of people reach out to me through direct message, instant message, things like that, which is fine. I mean, they don't want to go on the record. I guess they don't want to be seen watching, you know, The Road Warrior. I, I really get, I don't care. It's not like I've got a sponsorship. It's not like I can approve anything. It, it's just for fun. So my friends will reach out directly. And, and they said, you know, wow, kind of a strange thought. Who really thinks about game shows? When you're in your 50s and plus, you don't think about game shows. To be honest with you, I don't think much about game shows ever. But that's the funny thing about how the, my mind works. I've always got a lot of strange thoughts. And they're not like perverted thoughts. It's just strange stuff. It's, it's just, you know, kind of, kind of looking at how the world goes just from a, a unique perspective. I, I know I've talked about this somewhere before, whether it was here or my Mason Minute podcast. Years, years, years ago, when I was six, seven years old, my dad was interviewing famed prognosticator Gene Dixon. Her most famous prognosis was that President Kennedy was going to be killed. And that made her famous. And she was always a, a guest on TV shows, or you could read her in the Parade magazine or in the weekly something or other Examiner magazine. Or whatever. She was one of those and would predict the future. And I don't know what her percentage rate was. But my dad was interviewing her for a TV noon show one time when we were living in Illinois. And, and there was a, a, an audio tape that sufficed years later that my father gave to me when he was cleaning out or moving after, gosh, I was probably 23, 24 years old. And he passed the tape and says, hey, I don't have anything to play this audio tape on. You know, maybe you can play it. And I played it and converted it to cassette. And at the time I listened to it and it kind of explains things. And it always explains that I would be successful but in a different way, in a unique way. I wouldn't be a doctor or a lawyer, but I would be very important in a special, unique, and I don't want to say strange way, but in a strange way. And I think that kind of explained to me about my broadcasting career. I affected a lot of lives and, and hopefully did a lot of good, raising a lot of money for charity over the years, which was very important to me, and, and, and bringing the entertainment, giving people the opportunity to meet famous people and just doing unique and different things. And, and I'm very proud of what I did in my almost 30 years in radio. And, and it kind of explained things to me. But I've always had that different spin on things. You know, I, I, I'll watch, you know, drug commercials on TV and they will have different side effects. And there will always be one that just kind of goes, huh, did anybody think about this? You know, that's kind of the, the primary side effect, you know, of, of why you're trying to avoid this. And, oh, here's the right I want to, you know, it's, I can't think of an, uh, an idea off the top of my head or I can't think of an example. But I've always just kind of had a weird way of looking at things and thinking about things. And, and it's not a bad thing. It's just different. It's just, I, I don't feel like a normal adult. I don't feel like, an, I mean, I, I, I've never, I don't care about football as much as most guys. I don't care about hanging out and drinking beers in bars as most guys. I mean, I've done it. Not that I can't do it. I just choose not to and don't want to. And I, I guess, again, I've always just had a strange view on, on life and a strange view on, on everything. And I don't feel bad about that. I just wonder if it's just me or we all have those things. I'm just not ashamed to admit it. Food for thought? You probably won't even think about it. That's okay, too. Back next week, another Road Warrior, KevinMason.us. All the Road Warriors right there. Are we up to 500 episodes yet? No, we're not. We're, we're a half a year away. We'll hit, I think we hit 500 episodes sometime early next year, I think. I don't know. Not that what 500 is just a number. It's a big number. It's kind of crazy thinking how long I've been doing this, but, but you know you know what I mean. Facebook, YouTube, they're all there. Comment, like, share, tell a friend, blah, blah, blah. Thanks so much. Have a good week. See you next week with another Road Warrior. Thanks.